Come on in. Folks, I'm loving life. I am. I am loving life. And I like to see, I like to talk about, I like to, I like it when I meet people who are go-getters. I like a go-getter, I'm a go-getter myself. I was away for a few days. I came back on the, in the mailbox. Mailbox, there was some letters telling me, hey, I owe this tax. I should pay this bill, that bill. I, I'm like, hell yes, but I am enjoying life. Yes, you, you must also enjoy life. Don't let life just pass you by, yeah? You will always owe somebody. Somebody will always dislike you, but live your life to the fullest. Will I have to pay those tax? Hell yes. I'm scared of the tax guy. Terrified. But it is what it is. I'm here nonetheless. I'm here for the get down. And yes, I was on vacation. Over there, that, that beautiful place called Krakow. Before I jump out the window, let me give a big shout out to Patrick. Oh. What can I say about Patrick? Very good guy. He opened up his, um, his dancing school for me. I got the tour. A wonderful guy. I have nothing but praise for him, but I have to say, but I am feeling a little disappointed within myself. Nothing that he did, but after the recording, I was, I was invited to a rave in the night and I could make it and I feel guilty. And I usually I don't feel guilty. I just don't care. But because he's such a good guy and was such a good host, I feel guilty. Hence, I have to go back. I have to. Within the next six weeks, not, mm, let's not get ahead of ourselves because I have two more week vacation. And then the other two weeks after work and get us some money. I'm an entrepreneur. If I don't work, I don't get peer. I, I have my own business to run. So if I don't work, I don't get peer. So all this time I'm at home, I'm at home, I'm getting no peer. It is what it is. Yes, this is all on. So after I get us, after I get us some penny together, I have to go on again and rave with Patrick. That's just how it is. Yeah, I feel guilty I did not go to the party, to the after party. Yeah, because he, he invited me, but yeah. I am a man of my word. And I don't say I don't tell lie. If somebody tell you, yo, I don't tell lie. That fucker is lying right then. Right then and there is lying. So I tried to keep my word. And I did not keep my word. I, 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 I could make it a night. But yeah. I'm a nigger. When it all boils down to it, Jamaicans, when Jamaicans eat, shower, and go to sleep, talk about, yo, I'm up in the next two, three hours to go to the rear. Fuck that. We fall asleep. We have niggeritis. That's just how it is. Yeah? So I have to apologize to Patrick for not showing up. And yeah, I have to go to go back in Krakow just to party with that guy. So now I'm not love to Patrick and I will be there. And he hasn't spoken to me since. <laughs> he stopped returning my text. But I love him nonetheless, yeah? So maybe he's busy. Maybe he just say, hey, I'm, I'm not fucking with that nigga anymore. But I still love and respect him. We have to do business together. I am now in contact with one of Jamaica's most Mm, I don't want to say elegant, most electrifying performer to bring him there, but you will hear about that in the next podcast. And yes, the part there, we did do some video shoots. Don't, don't worry, you will see those podcasts Friday when I upload it. Um, secondly, I have to thank um, Rifka. As you can see, I, I, I just, just came back, went to the gym. Mm, I'm now coming from the gym. I have to lose some weight. I'm getting big and fat. The camera, the, the, the two videos that I saw, I, I was like, oh, shit. I look like a toothpick with a grape on top. I have to get rid of some of this weight, yeah? Now I know why Rifka was laughing. <laughs> Rifka was, the, was that uh, beautiful female 
She's an um, instructor over there, and I interviewed her. Oh, she did good. I asked her a lot of questions, the hard questions, yeah? And she gave honest answers. That's all I can ask, honest answers, yeah? And that, pod, that um, episode will be out Sunday. After I'm dropping Friday and Sunday, two days apart, yeah? And you, do me a favor, you have to share. Yeah, if you fuck with me anyway, shape or form, just share the video. Yeah, it's time for me to start making some money off YouTube. Yeah, I'm doing the work as I should. Yeah, so salute to Rifka. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Salute her. Good. Oh, she has this the world's smallest hands. Ah, I shook her hands because <laughs> that's how I rock when I'm over there and crack up. I, I, I extend just the hand way out. I stay far and I and I will let you know at the end of this video why I keep far from women <laughs> from Krakow. Yeah, so salute to Rifka with the very small hands, soft and small. I'm like, God damn. But it is what it is. And then shout out to the to the camera person, Diana. Diana, very professional. Did what she did. She corrected me on a lot of um of a lot of my action because folks, I just turned the camera on and start to talk. She said, "Yo, I was repeating myself on the on the videos after she would edit it out." And no doubt, she's a good editor. She studied for it. Yeah, she didn't just take up the camera one day and say, "Yo, I'm an editor now." Yeah, she studied for that shit. So salute to her. And when I go back over there. She will also be doing, doing the recordings whenever, or whenever I'm over there in Krakow. Lord Jesus, I met her boyfriend. I met Diana's boyfriend slash husband. Lord Jesus Christ, this guy was huge. That is what influenced me to go to the gym. Guy was huge. He kept, he knew my name. Michael, I said, yo, shook his hands. We, our eyes locked. Think he wanted a hug. I was like, oh, shit. Maybe he was a little bit scared of the hug. Maybe he's scared he might like the hug too much. I don't know what went through his mind, but we, and he, he's like, oh. But salute to Dan, salute to her boyfriend slash husband. It is what it is, yeah? Real good people. Real good people over there. All three that I met, real good people. And I will be doing business with them again. Even the husband slash boyfriend. Now, pertaining to my, um, what I saw, the city, oh, the city was beautiful. Auschwitz, I didn't get to go to Auschwitz. Yeah. Saltman was very, it's an old city, history. Every block, every stone, every corner, it's all history. And I hope they um, spend the time to preserve their history. And because it's my first trip over there, my second trip will be even more in depth. Yeah? It will be more in depth than um, this time. Because why? I will be more prepared. Yes? Now I know the cut. Well, I don't know the culture too much, but I know what to do and what not to do now. How do I know this? Because I was there with my cousin. Yes? I give you an incident. I give you an incident. I was there with my cousin. I saw some police harassing, well, talking to some homeless guys. Yeah. I was like, fuck. The police left. So I was going over to the homeless guys. And my guy was like, no, 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 don't go over there. They might attack you. I said, why? The fuck they going to do? Attack me. There are three homeless guys. I went over there. Long story short, they saw me coming. I was like, oh, very racist. <laughs> and I love it. I'm an asshole. I love it. A nigga. I said, oh, the nigga. I said, oh, hey, homeless white boy. I said, white man. Hey, homeless white man. White trash. <laughs> I said it. It's like, nigga. I said, hey, white trash. How are you in Europe? White society and you fucking homeless and poor. <laughs> they look at me. I look at them. They size me up. I size them up. And I just say, yo, I'm buying beer. You need beer? Oh, yes, 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 yes. And we become not friends, but that's just how it is. They realize, yo, I'm not going to run from you. I'm not scared. 
and we drink beer. Mind you, you cannot walk around with beer on the street, but they know, they put it in a bag. They drink, I didn't drink none. They drink, I stand and we talk. And the next day we're coming out of the hotel and the, the homeless guy said, hey, he called, hey, one speak English and he was like, yo, don't travel with that guy, don't travel with that guy. I don't know him, but the best person is that guy over there, take this taxi. Why? He start to look out for me. And serious, this is very serious. If I have the opportunity to spend a day in the European Union, one day in the European Union, in the, in the parliament, yeah? One day with them are two weeks in the slums, anywhere on the planet with homeless people. I would choose the homeless people any day over the fuckers in the European Union. Because the homeless guys, they have nothing to lose. They tell you the truth. I'm just, you might not like it, but it is what it is. A homeless man will look out for you when you treat them like a decent citizen. You understand? Just show them a little love because, yo, life fuck up. You understand? Some people just get dealt a bad, a, a, a bad deal. Not that I'm taking up for them, but it is what it is. He did look out for me the next day. In the House of Parliament, he just lies. They're just telling you lie after lie after lie. And then you know they're lying to you. But they, ex they expect you to smile. <laughs> You understand? No, I, I, I hear hypocrite. You understand? That is why I just, I cannot stand politician. I, if you're too wealthy, I cannot stand you either. Fuck all the year. So, uh, so yeah, I, I have no problem with the, with the homeless guy. I show them love. I show me love and that's it. Then I find myself in a KFC. I don't know why, but yeah, I like to sample all KFC. Whenever I travel, I, first thing I go is buy some KFC. Here comes this little, little, little baby. Come, come to the front of lunch. Call me over. I say, yo, she said, you need chicken. I said, oh, black guy in a KFC. I have a question is that if I need chicken. I say, mm, no. As a matter of fact, I like um, two cups of holy water. Pay attention. I said, holy water, you know, the, the one that the Pope bless, the one that you can get in Vatican. Can I have two cups, please? She looked right at me without even budging. She said, oh, we are all out. The last black guy took, <laughs> took the last of on. I said, my friend. She served me and I, and I just walk out. I like communicating with people who get this, my, my dry sense of humor. I enjoyed a little conversation with them. You know, I talk, I go around and just talk to people. Regular folks. Those people I like to have a conversation with. Not no fucker in the suits or tie. Okay, to close. I like to keep my video short. <sighs> the reason why I said in the beginning that I when I when I am in Krakow, I, I keep when it comes to female, I keep them harm's length. I have a cousin. Listen to this story. I have a cousin. He was in New York. Now, maybe you can tell me if this makes sense. I was like <clears throat> jumping out the window, but he's, he's in New York some years ago. He met this, this woman from England, white woman. They had a relationship, yada, 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 yada. She had to leave. My cousin said, bye-bye. You're not coming to England with me? No, fuck you. Life goes on. He met one from Germany. The German woman, talk, 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 blah, 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 what happened, happened. She left New York and was going to Miami. You're coming with me? He, he, he said, no. My cousin said, no, 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 no. No, you go ahead. I love New York. Here comes this Polish woman. Sat on his face. He came back with her. I'm like, yo, I would never do that. Oh, could you leave New York and come, and come, come to Poland? I'm like, why? I can't, I couldn't understand it. I couldn't fathom. Like, yo, it was that good. But mm -mm. in my mind, you are the only Jamaican who would do such a thing. That's what I was saying to myself. But I was fucking wrong, wasn't I? Because I spoke to mm, the travel guy, the guy who was driving the, the thing around. No, not him. Not him, his boss. I called his boss to, to arrange a tour. 
and we had a conversation. He has a YouTube channel also. And he told me he had a business in England doing good, making a lot of money, wife and children. Here comes this, <laughs> this Polish woman again, blew on him, the sit on him, and he left every fucking thing over there, sell everything and come to Poland. And I'm like, fuck, really? He said, yes, yes, yes. yes. I said, okay, okay, okay. That's two. Because man lie, woman lie, but numbers don't. So that's two. Then I hear about, about, I know five Jamaicans, and I'm not lying. I link them up. Yo, you're, you're in Warsaw, but nothing crap. They're in Warsaw. I say, yo, yeah. What happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in Germany and blah, blah, blah. And I had to leave Germany, come to Poland. I said, why? Oh, I met this woman. I said, fuck, woman again. And then I start to do my research. I have guys here who I know in Holland, work here in Holland, Dutch guys. At the end of the week, they pack up Poland. I'm like, fuck, what is, what, what's happening now? What is it? Is it the way they talk? Is it the, <laughs> what's in the water over there? And apparently it's not only over there because even when the females are abroad and meet the guys, the guys drop everything and go over there. Like fuck. So now, when I'm over there, I keep everybody arms in. Nice to meet you. I don't want to be the one calling my accountant. Yo, yo, yo sell everything. Sell my bicycle. Sell every goddamn thing you have. But Michael, I have nothing. I have two kidney. I put them up on, on the black market. I am going over there. No, I don't want to be that guy. So if you can tell me in the comment section, why, the, why when these guys, black, white, Indian, it doesn't matter. When they meet these Polish females, they, they, they tend to go back. <laughs> the Polish just blow on, blow on these guys and it's done. They lose their mind, they lose their house, they lose their car, they lose their kids, and they pack up and just fucking go back to Poland. My cousin is a perfect example. So maybe you can tell me. That's why when I go there, you can only give me water when it's seal, seal water. Michael, you need something to drink? No, I go to the supermarket and buy. Yes. Yes. And when I shake her hands, I wipe her fast with the holy water that I got from the Pope. When I step off the plane, I'm like, the blood of Jesus. So yeah, but I enjoy myself. I'm here and look out for the videos, yeah? The videos will be out and salute to the scammers, salute to the go-getters. Don't let life get you down, please. Live your life and live it to the fullest. If you don't have no money, live your life. You understand? And salute to the scammer <laughs> in, um, in um, Amsterdam who's trying to scam me. <laughs> scammer trying to scam us, scammer. <laughs> Just fuck around. Big up. Like, share, and subscribe, yeah? Big up myself, Patrick. Mm -hmm.